If you've recently been looking to buy a large screen 4K TV, you've probably noticed that 55-inch models have the lowest price per inch and that there's a large price gap between them and 65-inch ones, not to mention 75 or even larger sizes, which are usually reserved for those with money to burn. If you're wondering why you would need such a large screen in the first place, the THX standard says that the optimal distance between you and the 55-inch screen is a bit below 2 meters or around 6 feet, 2.2 meters for a 65-inch model, and a bit over 2.5 meters or 8.4 feet for a 75-inch TV. Clearly, the ideal screen size grows pretty rapidly with the viewing distance, so if you're sitting 3 meters or about 10 feet away from the TV, which is often the case, you would ideally need an 82-inch TV, and further away it's almost impossible to find a commercially available model which is large enough. And yes, it also gets exponentially more expensive, so most of us often have to settle for less than ideal viewing experience. Still, there is an alternative in the form of projectors, which were made to allow for very large picture sizes at much lower price. Traditionally, though, the projectors weren't exactly a proper alternative, due to much lower contrast and brightness, as well as a lower resolution like 720p or Full HD, which on a large viewing surface gets even more accentuated and is far from the experience offered by 4K TVs. This time we got to test a projector made by BenQ, which has some pretty impressive specs and promises to finally change things and present a valid alternative to modern large screen TVs. It is a model with a true 4K display resolution, HDR support and some advanced features we've been seeing on modern TVs which are important for its primary purpose. BenQ TK850 is intended for home entertainment, specifically watching movies, TV shows and sports. Taiwanese manufacturer also offers HT3350, which is specifically made for movie lovers, but TK850 seems more universal and made for all the content that you usually buy the projector or a large TV for. On the outside, it looks fairly standard for a projector, with perhaps a bit larger format, which is to be expected considering the specs. Most of the body is made of white plastic, with round edges that give it a more modern and better looks, and large venting holes on both sides, which are necessary for all the devices that produce a lot of light and therefore a lot of heat as well. On the right, which is where the fan exhaust is, we measured 40 plus degrees Celsius in the vicinity of the device, while its surface can get even around 75, that's about 167 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's probably a good idea not to touch that area while the projector is in use. As for the noise, it is produced by two 120mm fans and is quite acceptable unless you're sitting right next to the device. The front panel is made of aluminium in a greyish color with a brushed metal texture and on it you'll find the logo and the lens opening with a removable cover which protects the lens from dust or accidental contact while it's not in use. On the top there's a sliding cover that reveals rotational zoom and focus controls, some indication LEDs and keys for activating and controlling the device. Those keys probably won't get much use though, since the projector also comes with a pretty good remote, with a bunch of keys for all the supported functions, pretty quality ones too, with a nice satisfying click, and the backlight, which allows for a convenient use in the dark, which is most common use scenario anyway. On the back you'll find the connectors, among which there are two picture source HDMI ports, one USB 3.0 for reproducing content from USB drives and updating the firmware, another USB used only for powering devices like Chromecast for instance, as well as optical and analog audio outputs, service and serial ports, and a 12 volt trigger port for automatic control of a motorized projector screen. As for the display, TK850 is able to project the image up to 300 inches in size. BenQ states that the optimal size for image quality is about 200 inches, though we felt that around 130 offered the ideal sharpness and brightness to size ratio, and which is still 3.3 meters diagonally, more than enough for most rooms. Setting the geometry is easy, both manual and automatic, but you can only set the vertical keystone, so horizontally the projector needs to be set parallel to the projection surface. What we noticed immediately was how much 4K resolution impacts the picture quality for projectors. Due to the way that image is created, lower resolutions do not look nearly as bad as they can on LCD screens, but 4K just provides so much more detail and clarity, which makes the image way more visually pleasing and natural. Another thing that stood out was the color and contrast, which were at least a class above any previously tested projectors, and which combined with the high resolution make for a picture quality we certainly do not expect from a projector. This is due to the high 3000 lumen brightness, but also dynamic iris, which acts as a dynamic backlight control on LCD TVs and improves black level and contrast. 
Image quality will of course depend on the light in your room, but in a complete dark, we have to say, the quality gets very close to some upper middle priced 4K TVs, which is absolutely impressive for a projector. We were especially impressed with colors, which were fairly saturated, with a pretty good HDR mapping in HDR10 and HLG content. Since this projector covers about 98% of SDR Rec 709 color gamut, and its contrast is not on a level of premium certified HDR TVs, the HDR experience offered is also not on the same level, but we still felt it was better than on most HDR 400 certified TVs. We should note that the display is quite good even in a partially dark room, while it is still totally usable in a normal or even a very bright lit room, thanks to its very high luminance, although in that case the contrast does get a lot lower. BenQ TK850 uses a DMD DLP projection method, which unlike classic DLP projectors, should offer better alignment of all the color channels in a point of projection, and therefore provide an image sharpness necessary for 4K, which it does well. It does still suffer from the rainbow effect like all the DLP models, which you can notice when you move your head quickly, mainly on white details within the scene, due to the fact that primary colors are projected sequentially using the color filter wheel, instead of simultaneously. Thankfully, you won't really notice this that much. The projection lamp is rated at 4000 hours of use in normal mode, which is close to 3 years of use if you watch 4 hours a day every day. Economic and smart eco modes are less bright, but also offer a much longer life, with up to 10 or 15,000 hours of use. We were very surprised to see this projector come equipped with image processing algorithms, which we usually see on high mid-class TVs, which greatly contributes to the visual impression, especially for its intended use. Most of all, the Motion Enhancer 4K option, which is actually MEMC, or Motion Estimation and Motion Compensation, which makes video appear smoother and reduces judder and blur, particularly useful in movies or while watching sports. Since the projector already has a better response time than LCD TVs, this actually works quite well and even beyond our initial expectations. This model also supports Pixel Enhancer 4K option, which is a picture scaling algorithm that works well for upscaling 720p or 1080p content. There's also a bright color option that enhances color vibrance and overall brightness and makes the display look even more impressive, but unfortunately can sometimes go overboard with certain color shades like gold or skin color, which is why we mostly opted to disable it altogether. Bank, you could probably fix this with a simple update, and we hope they do, since it is a potentially really cool enhancement. We should also note that the projector is equipped with HDMI 2.0b ports, so the input signal can be 4K 60fps with 10-bit color per channel, or 4K with HDR and 10 bits but 30fps. 3D is also supported, but we were unable to test it since it requires special 3D glasses. If you're thinking of using this projector for gaming, we have to disappoint, since the input lag on this model is above 80 milliseconds, so it's not an ideal choice, neither was it intended to be. For that purpose, BenQ has a whole lineup of gaming projectors like TH585 for instance, which we have also previously tested. Another pleasant surprise was the sound that this model makes. We were setting up to watch a game in our studio and wondered if we had some speakers laying around, expecting the onboard sound to be barely usable, but when we actually heard it, we found that not only was it decent, but actually very good, and that it would take something much better than an average set of computer speakers to compete with it. What Bank you call Cinema Master Audio Plus 2 is in fact a 2x5W audio system with an aluminum diaphragm and neodymium magnet speakers, which is pretty loud, with a surprisingly good bass response, and probably good enough for most users unless you already own a decent hi-fi or home theater system. All in all, BenQ TK850 is by far the best projector we have tested so far, and a model which delivers a complete audio-visual experience, which is why it deserves our highly recommended award. It impressed us with picture quality and image processing, good sound as well as flexibility for projecting on different surfaces and in less than ideal room light conditions. Its price is about 1650 euro or 1500 dollars on Amazon, and most likely buyers are those who want something much bigger than what the TVs have to offer, but still 4K and with a high level of image quality. So those were our impressions, but we would also love to hear yours. Have you ever owned a projector and do you think it could be a replacement for your TV? Let us know in the comment section below this video. If you enjoyed our content, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more interesting tech videos. You were watching Bench House, my name is Ivan, and I'll see you next time.